sharia fi tafsiri if you don't help one another because of your religion because of the deen not because of your color or the color of your skin not because of your nationality you hold because of your deen if you don't help one another because of your deen تكون فتنة في الأرض وفساد كبير ويقول ابن كثير في تفسيره if you don't help one another if the Muslims don't help one against the non-Muslims against the kuffar who are attacking Islam تكون فتنة يقول ابن كثير يكون اختلاط the people will have doubts there will be confusion confusion among the Muslims they will be confused, they don't know who was right and who was wrong. They don't know who to follow, who to listen to. This is fi kitabikum ya ikhwati fi Allah. This is what Allah is telling you in his book subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ فِي عِبَادِ اللَّهِ تَوَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ فِي أَنفُسِكُمْ And let your slogan, let this be إِنَّ أَكْرَمَكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَتْقَاكُمْ وَقُلُوا مَا تَسْمَعُوا اسْتَغْفِرُوا اللَّهُ لِكْ فَاسْتَغْفِرُوا إِنَّهُ الْغَفُورُ رَحِيمٌ الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم سيدنا والنبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين نشهد أنه بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وكشف الغم وجاهد في الله حق جهاد حتى أتاه اليقين أما بعد إخوتي في الله يقول رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم والحديث في مسند أحمد والسنن أبي داود يقول رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم a slave from the slaves of Allah was ordered to be last in his grave and then after very long dua he was ordered to be last one hand in last and after long dua, Allah reduced to one lash. One. And then he was slashed in his grave once. And because of that lash, his grave was filled with naar. After the punishment was over, he said, why did you lash me? What did I do? والحديث حسححه لابن حبان في صحيح والألباني في صححه أيضا قال the man asked, why did you lash me? And then he was said to him صليت الصلاة بغير طهور You pray one salah without wudu ورأيت ظام ذلوما فلم تنصر and you passed by someone who's been oppressed and you did not help him. One Muslim, one person was oppressed and he did not help. Imagine where millions of people, thousands of people are oppressed and we don't care. Imagine if we were lashed for every thousand what lash. And our graves would be filled with naam. How powerful this punishment, ya ikhwati fillah. And Rasulullah did not say, Oh, you did not help your Arab brother, or Ajam brother, or Turkish brother. Or No, he said, One person, a mazloom, and you did not help. ويقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في حديث صحيح يقول if if you ever and remember this hadith يا إخوتي في الله because this is what is happening with the ummah and that's why we don't get the help of Allah at the time of our need يقول if a Muslim passed by a Muslim or in a place, 
ينتهك فيه ينتهك فيه عرضه او ينتهك فيه حرمته وينتقص من عرضه is if you pass a place where the Muslims are being dishonored and you do not do anything about it except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will disgrace you and leave you to yourself at the time of your need and the day that you have the honor of a Muslim and you protect the honor of a Muslim Allah will help and aid you the day that you need his help subhanahu wa ta'ala if you don't do it Allah will not help you and if you help Allah will help you and ya ikhwati fillah يقول صلى الله عليه وسلم والحديث أيضا حسنه وصحاول الألباني the best أعمال that Allah loves is to bring happiness to the heart of a Muslim to ease the difficulty of a Muslim to help a Muslim of need إخوتي في الله يا أمة الإسلام if you really want help of Allah then remove this illness from your heart and love your brother because he is a Muslim and marry from your brother and let him marry from you because he's a Muslim not because he's your nationality we became so narrow-minded that we think that everyone else is imperfect and it is only me and my people who attain the level of perfection. لا والله يا إخوتي في الله أتدرون يا عباد الله how many young people come how many young people come because at this time where the halal is minimum in the society and the haram is accessible to everyone they want to protect themselves and they want to marry this young lady on the other side for the sake of Allah and they will reject her because he's not from her nationality do you know how many people come to my office almost every day with that issue and what is it the crime of this young man does he drink la wallahi did he abandon the salah? La wallahi fa'alamatu sujood simahu fi wujuhim Did he do any other crime? La The only crime is he is not from the same nationality Same nationality Subhanallah When Abu Dharr al-Ghafari Radiyallahu anhu he said to Bilal a kalima, a word that hurt him. That hurt him. You know what he said to Rasul? Wallahi la rafa anna ka la Rasulillah. Wallahi I will take this matter to the Messenger of Allah. A Rasulullah said to Abu Dhar, "A'ayyartahu bi ummi." Inna kimoon fi kajahiriya. La huwa la huwa fa inna munt. He said, "Leave this. Indeed, is a filth." Leave this nationalities. Leave this, leave this unnecessary titles. إِنَّ أَكْرَمَكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَتْقَاكُمْ إِخْوَةِ فِي اللَّهِ Unless we unite our hearts, the enemies of Allah will always find ways to get to us. The worst enemy to Islam is us. And the most powerful weapon to use against Islam is you and I. And the reason is because we are not united. So, ya ikhwati fi Allah, let us unite. And let us fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa qulu ma tasma'un wa astaghfiru Allah wa lakum fa astaghfiruh. Raja'an minni ya ikhwati fi Allah. One request. One request. Wa la'alla hadhi ibadah. La'alla ibadah. Maybe this will be the beginning of your new relationship. Before the iqama is called, and you stand up for your salah, look to the brother on to your right, and to your brother to your left, and give him hug, 
and say, you are my brother in Islam. I love you not because you are from my tribe. I love you not because you are from my country. I love you because we are both in the house of Allah and we are the guests of Rahman. <laughs> this is the beginning of a new relationship. And ask him his name. وَقُولُوا مَا تَسْمَعُونَ وَاقِمُوا الصَّلَاةِ يَرْحَمُوا يَرْحَمُكُمُ اللَّهِ وَتَعَانَقُوا حَقْوَنَا نَدَيَا إِخْوَتِ فِي اللَّهِ For the sake of Allah.